Our next talent will be Cameron Yoakum exhibiting a pink wig presentation. This one is Okay, we're going to sit right in front of the judges and present a brand new, never been opened before pink wig. I, I have been saving this wig for a monumentous occasion, and I think we found it, folks. Someone said to do ASMR with it, but I can't speak and do that. Okay. Just normal life? I thought it was dope. What happened to the pink one? Look at that. No tail at all. I'm back, baby! presentation, the hit Just Dance, winning me a spot on executive council, I've realized something about myself. I have a knack for presenting. It is my one true talent in life. I, I could do it for days. But the question is, what are you presenting? Counter question, where did the pink wig come from? Maybe the bottom of the screen. Well, Cameron, asking Cameron, let's dive into the origins of the pink wig. You're initially, of course you'd be thinking Miss Stephanie from Lazy Town. Wrong. How, how dare you? Could it be? It must. Oh, I think it is. The pink wig must have originated from the family dollar. You must have just walked into Family Dollar, and once inside the Family Dollar, you walked over to the Halloween section where you found a pink wig. And for exchange of currency, you bought a pink wig. How dare you! I, I would never! Let me... Let me tell you what happened. Let's set the scene. 2019. Mr. Olson is fresh on the scene. He has arrived as the principal. And something is amiss. That's missed, not a, oh God. Look at that face. You're gonna tell me that that's not a man who's up to devious activities? Oh, go back, go, whoa, come on now. There I am. Freshman, straight out of drama practice, and instead of going the conventional way of walking out the doors and going out, I went around to the cafeteria, and I heard something. There's some chatter as I'm walking by the cafeteria. Oh no, I have stumbled upon something words can't even describe. Mr. Olson is in the kitchen. What is he doing? What is, what is Olson cooking? Soup. The, the soup. And let me tell you what I saw him. I can't even. Mr. Olson into this big pot of soup. He put sardines. Mr. Rarick's feet. And lastly, a pink wig. So, as Olsen turned his back to gather who knows what other ingredients, I did the only thing imaginable. I grabbed the pink wig and I ran, but Mr. Olsen followed after. And I got the wigs, he didn't catch me. And Mr. Olsen, oh man, Let's see, it's not clicking. He cried, and he cried, and he cried. I mean, the pictures are there to prove it. And I, I got the pink wig.
inconsistencies, wouldn't you say? What am I talking about? <laughs> that is the story. Inconsistencies. First, you have multiple pink wigs and you only stole one. What? Second, Mr. Rarick wasn't at the school in 2019, so how were his feet in the soup? Lastly, Mr. Olsen doesn't cook for the children. He, maybe he does. Shut up, me. That, that's what happened. I, me is my witness. Why don't you tell the people the real origin of the pink wig? Oh man, that is a tale only a handful know. That is a tale so embarrassing that I must tell it. It was 2010, and an amazing creator on YouTube.com uploaded a video called Lady Pasta. That creator was none other than the annoying orange. And in the screen, this is a screen cap from Lady Pasta. I tried to put it in the presentation. You wouldn't believe how hard that is. He originated the pink wig. And he sent me all of them. Straight, straight to my um, mailbox, yeah. Just like being here at MHS has been, I've included several, several pictures of my time here, ranging from freshman to eighth grade to sophomore to senior. It's a long journey. Thank you, everybody. Cameron's first crush at MHS was Easton Young in the second grade. Her best friend had a crush on his best friend, so she picked him in convenience. But, but the crush was short-lived when she found out that he was her cousin. Don't, don't fret, it's only through marriage, but the title would make anyone back away. Thank you, Cameron.